Okay, that took quite a while. Uh, unfortunately, she actually ended up to be much more difficult to paint than I thought. Let's take the heel spur out to make her easy to stand. And since I'm literally overwhelmed by one person about uh, her size compared to a Bushin Shinki, so here's one, which turns out to be, yeah, we <coughs> close by, so I decided to use her. She will be in the review sooner or later. And as you can see, they are both the same size. Uh, let's see. Yeah, the head on uh, Obelian here. Oberlin here is because um, she's supposed to look a bit more cute with a bigger head. That's why of the bigger head. But uh, overall, it's about the same size. I would say there's hardly any difference between them. So yeah, here is uh, Elena, fully painted. When I say fully painted, I probably did more than I supposed to. Uh, the really the the bit of paint that literally is vitally required to make her look correct is um, the pink here the white on her head crest uh, the pink on the knee the pink um, at the heel and then everything else is the skirt because the skirt start off with this dark pink without any of the white and it turns out that this two is supposed to be light light pink as well so I painted all of those I didn't actually follow exactly the instruction for the white for this bit as well because it's a bit too cumbersome. And that is the amount of paint that you actually need to actually make her look accurate. But in infinite wisdom or stability, I decided to paint more. Um, so the face, I will spray it with, with white paint, which look exactly the same as before. So that that's a bit of waste of time. Um, her dark pink, actually all of the dark pink on her is completely repaint which again doesn't look any better really oh that's one bit that is required to be painted and that is the chest because the chest comes in this dark pink but in reality uh, there is a bit of a uh, light pink going around her as well actually it makes sense if I do that right yeah so I painted those light pink as well and again, I, for some reason, the whole all of the hair part of the head, I repaint that in uh, light pink as well. So yeah, a lot of unnecessary repaint, and uh, it's actually making things worse, because uh, this torso part is literally jointed with almost everything that moves, and rubbed against everything that moves. So you might be able to see a little bit of a pink already rubbed against uh, the inside of the leg. You probably see a little bit of pink chip all around those edges as well as the body is moving in and out and and move around to be posted, to be posed. Yeah, really, I shouldn't actually do any of those because now I can't really touch her at all. You can see that the body is actually really glossy at the moment because I put a wet thick clear coat trying to protect it and then put a uh, a matte coat on top but that didn't work either the matte coat didn't really um, dull the body so yeah oh yeah, um, it turns out that she's actually belong to full blue uh, in terms of a character ID so I put the full blue crest on it you probably can't see any of those uh, but uh, I will put some photo uh, at the end of this video as well as my blog, which is here. Yeah. So here's one of the gun, the pistol, and you can see that I put the blue photon on the top. And also, here is the shot, which is now fully painted with the pink photon turn on top so I don't think it's called a shot anymore it's either called a launcher or I think it's called a launcher now actually I can't remember I haven't actually played uh, Fantasy Star Online for quite a while but yeah that take ages by the way all of those blue I tried to mask it with, with masking tape and then paint it over 
and it's still not very very good at all but it's reasonable reasonable enough that I want to stop um, stop mixing around with it so other than that he you've probably seen enough of it but here is a beam saber so the handle got painted into white and I can't bother now uh, but here is the other beam saber with the handle painted white as well so yeah that's basically it uh, also because I have spent extra time on her I can actually tell you some of my comments about her as well uh, about uh, durability the uh, the elbow snap uh, along the molded line and I think that's because me actually I don't think it's actually the model's fault I over bended the, uh, the elbow but uh, that's something to watch out for uh, the body the, the joint near the bottom of the uh, of a of a waist is really loose I think that is something to look out for and be careful when you're actually twisting the body because uh, the body on the board is on the ball joint but it's a very stiff ball joint and because of that the rest of the joint become really fragile when you're trying to twist the body you might want to actually sand down the ball joint to actually make it be smoother as well uh, everything else is fine actually uh, the leg in particular is a really impressive by uh, the durability is excellent and the heel spur really makes her uh, highly poseable and highly yeah really, really stable so that's about it for me um, I will see you in the next review and if you want more photo I'll post it on the blog and just for a bit of a teaser I'll put a few at the end so until then join me next time